Hi coders! Today I just quickly want to show you how to replace border on any HTML element with your own custom image using just one line of CSS. Let's take a look at the border image CSS3 property. Border image property allows us to replace border on HTML elements with custom image or with CSS gradient. It is fully responsive and you can easily make sure your border looks good even when resizing your website like this. It can be applied to any HTML element except for internal table elements such as TR, TH and TD. To show you how simple it is to create and adjust image border, I create a div element with a class of container. I give it border, 10 pixels solid black, width 70%, height 70%, I will center it so top 50%. It needs position absolute. Now I can do absolute position centering trick. Top 50%, left 50%, transform translate minus 50%, minus 50%, which will center container element exactly in the middle of the page, both vertically and horizontally. Let's make the border thicker, for example 100 pixels. And I will also give it some padding, so it looks better when I give it some content inside. I will just type random text here. I will use shorthand property called border image to create and adjust image border on our container element with just one line of CSS. It works like this. The first value is the image I want to use. I named it border.png and placed it in my project folder. For you, the name of the image and path can be different depending on how you organized your project files. Doing that, we'll just take the image and place the entire image into all four corners. It can also be declared using border image source property. The second value is called slice. Here we are using shorthand one line declaration, but it can also be declared using border image slice property. This value tells the browser where to slice the provided image to create individual pieces of our custom image border. Any image we'll use will always be divided into nine sections, four corners, four sides and center. This value here tells the browser where to make the cut. You can either use just one value, which will apply the same cut to top, right, bottom and left edge, or same as other CSS declarations, you can place four values here. First one will be for top cut, second will be for the right cut, then bottom, then left, if you want each value to be different. My image is symmetrical, so I will use 33%, which will cut out the first pumpkin from every corner of my original image because I have three pumpkins per row and per column, so one third of 100% is 33%. The third value is called border image repeat, and if you don't set it, it will default to stretch, which is the behavior you see right now. You can see that whatever area you cut will be placed in the four corners, and whatever is in between of your original image will be stretched to fill out the empty area between the corners. If I give it just 10%, it will look like this. 10% actually works really well with this particular image. If I give it 20%, it breaks the symmetry. Forty percent. Let's go back to 33%. If I set border image repeat to repeat, it takes that middle area of source image and it will repeat it to fill out empty space between four corners. If you look at the corners when I'm resizing the page, you can see that the pumpkins are being cut off and are disappearing behind the corner images. This looks a bit better, but still it's not ideal. That's why there is the third potential value called round. This will combine stretch and repeat it will repeat the middle part of source image to fill out empty area between the corners and at the same time it will slightly stretch all images until there is enough space to fit another one. You can see when I resize the page it looks good all the time. Click like please if you learned something new today. You can also subscribe, hit the bell icon and click all notifications if you don't want to miss any of my future creative coding tutorials. See you next time!